there, it's Paul Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got another great interview coming up in just a moment. But before we begin, don't forget about the uh, subscribe and bell buttons below you there and click those and you'll always be notified of any new episodes coming your way. And if you want to leave a comment on the comment section, you can. We'd love to hear from you there. And don't forget, we're on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And you can follow us, send us an inbox there and comment the things you see. And if you'd like to email us as well, it's paulmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or even a solo artist that want to be on the show, send us an email and we'll show you how to do that. But we love fan mail as well, so if you're just simply a fan and want to talk to us, go ahead and we'll always respond. And all this will be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Sydney, Australia today, we have Lark, a very talented artist. I think you're going to agree with that. And uh, we'll get to that in a second, but first... Here's a quick word from Galtar, the guitar made specifically for a woman. So don't go away. We'll be right back right after this. Ready in five. Galta, the musical apparel that fits any outfit. Galta, bringing heaven to earth, one gal at a time. Galtarheaven.com Okay, we're back from commercial, and with us from Sydney, Australia, we have Lark today. Thanks for joining us, Lark. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, no problem. We're glad to have you. Uh, how did it all begin for you as far as that goes? I mean, uh, everyone has their own start in one way. Maybe you've always wanted to be an artist, Maybe uh, you know, since you were a child, maybe it came later. Uh, maybe it goes deeper than that, but tell us in your own words. Oh, look, I think I've always been obsessed with music. And for me, I think it all started with Olivia Newton-John and, you know, early Madonna and just, you know, and ABBA. And I just, we always had music playing in the household, all different types of music from one end of the spectrum to the other. And I think, you know, even I, I remember putting on concerts when I was four and five years old and yeah, so it's always sort of been in me and then, um, you know, I've always wanted to do it. And then when I left school, um, I joined my first band and that's all I did. I was a professional singer for many, many, many years and, you know, did a lot of touring. And then I was like, oh, I love seeing people just jump around the room and sing along to songs. And I was like, I want them to do that to my songs as well. So then I started writing my own music and here I am. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that's quite a story. I'm glad you're doing what you do. I I, I hope you have many years ahead of you. So Me too. <laughs> uh, uh, I know you mentioned people like Olivia New John and Madonna and, and Abba and all those. Are, would you say some of those are your main influences? Did you have any others besides or? Absolutely. Kiss was a really big influence as well. My mum was a massive Kiss fan. So we sort of always had that kind of glam rock thing happening, which I mean, when I do my live shows, like it's, you've got to put on a show, right? And I think I get that from, you know, listening and uh, listening to Kiss and, and just watching them and watching all of those artists actually, you know, get up there and, you know, and be a performer and, and be a showman or showwoman. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So just from one end of the spectrum to the other, from Fleetwood Mac to just, yeah, everything, absolutely everything. Okay. Yeah. Well, those are some great artists and I can definitely tell that in your sound too. So, uh, yeah. Well, people, after watching this video, we're going to be showing you in a couple of minutes here. They may they may want to go to like the streaming sites and download more of your music or watch your videos, go to your official website, uh, go on, uh, you know, like uh, Facebook and so forth. Uh, tell everybody how they can do all that. Sure. So my website is La La Lark. I couldn't get Lark because someone already took it. So <laughs> it's um, La La Lark dot com dot au and I am it everywhere i'm on facebook i think that's lark music um on facebook lark pop music on instagram my youtube channel is great that's just under lark and i've got music videos and mentoring videos and all sorts of stuff so i'm i'm all over the place i'm everywhere and spotify you name it <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Um, well, everybody go out there and uh, download uh, his music or listen to it on those stream pl streaming platforms and on social media and so forth. I know that she would love you for that. Yes, I and, will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, and we're getting ready to watch this song. Uh, what is it? Good, good. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. This one's called Good, Good Energy. energy. I was going to call it good, 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 good energy, but I thought it might be a bit much for people to type into the search engine. So I settled for two goods. <laughs> yeah, good, good energy. What's, what's uh, the story behind this song? And I love the video too. Tell everybody about it. <laughs> oh thank you so that video the music video is actually shot within all the locations are within like seven minutes of my house so um I, I grew up um on in Cairns um on the Great Barrier Reef hopefully you know some people have heard of it um and I moved down to Sydney quite a while ago and then uh about two years ago we decided to pack up and sort of leave the rat race and um, decided to sort of move up the coast a little bit from Sydney, not not too far, just a couple of hours drive. And I think I just got here and it was so beautiful and peaceful and, you know, everything just slowed down. And I was just like, oh, I felt like I was reconnecting with nature, with like the water and the, you know, the earth and everything. And then I, I when we moved up here, I just, I had time to just really sit down and just relax and get everything together and sort everything out that I'd sort of been, you know, putting off for years. So for me, it was just, it was almost like a rebirth and a new beginning. And I'm like, right, I'm taking care of business. I'm reconnecting, you know, with mother nature and just, you know, manifesting and just drawing on all that beautiful, good energy that, you know, that I'm surrounded by here. And then it just inspired me to write this song. Oh, okay. Well, what is it? as I said, I meant to do, it is a great song. And I know everybody out there, I know you're going to love it too. And uh, we'll get to that in a second, but uh, we want to thank you so much, Lark. Uh, that's all we need for now. But come back anytime you want to plug something new. We would love to have you back sometime. I'd love to come back. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, and here it is. Good, good energy by Lark, and it begins right now.
Bye.